Hello, my name is Dimitar and I would like to walk you through views in SQL Server, particularly how to insert, update, delete views and also what is column and row level security. But first, what is a view? The most important thing to understand about views in SQL is that it basically is a saved select query that doesn't store any data. Therefore, it is correct to refer to it as a virtual table. Once a select query is saved as a view, it can be used again and again rather than having to write the same code many times. So the view query itself is saved in the database, but it's not actually run until it's called with the select in statement. One of the most important uses of views is in large multi-user systems where they make it easy to control access to data for different types of users because you don't you can't let everyone in the company look at all of the user the user information now for the, for the sake of this tutorial i have created a new database called company which includes a table that's called company employees and I have inserted data into this table. Now, to create the view, we start with the create view statement with defining a name for the view as, and we select the table the columns that we want to include from table. So, actually this here is a vivid example of column level security. In this case, we would like to display all the columns except one, the salary, because not every user ha has to have access to the salaries of the other users. Now this is an overview of the table that contains all the columns and the rows. Now if we execute a select from this specific view that we just created, we're going to see that the salary is gone as we expected it to be. Another level of security is row level security. The procedure here is the same. We create the view, we specify the name as, we select what we want to include in it, from which table, but here we add a where statement. It's concerning the column country in the table company employees, and here we specify Denmark as a parameter. So if we execute this we're going to get the result of only the employee that's coming from Denmark. In views, we also have the option to update the view. To do that, we state update and the name of the view that we want to update. Then we set what we want to update in it. In this case, the first name, we want to change it to Walt, where we want to do make that change in ID number 2. And if we do that, we're going to get a view of as you can see now the name is Walt also we can insert into a view to do that we can type insert into where we want to insert into and define the values in this case we want to add Frank from the Netherlands we can when we execute this one, as you can see, one row is affected and we, when we select everything from this view, we get now Frank from the Netherlands. We also have the option to delete a view. To do that, we select delete from, from which table and where we define where employee ID is 7. When we execute this, as you can see one row is affected. And now, when we select everything from this view, we can see that employee number ID with 7 is now gone. So basically, this was everything for this tutorial, and I hope you get a better understanding of views now.